Hey, I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to PCM22. This is Career Mode, and it is episode number 22. We continue on with Itsulia Basque, and the challenge is, well, harder. Harder than ever. It's a difficult stage five. The only good news is there's been a bunch of crashes that is seeing a large group already out the back, so just 79 left in the peloton as of right now, and a breakaway of four that is well within reach of being caught if we can keep this back group which they're just over a minute behind if we could keep them at bay that would give us a legitimate shot at something but otherwise things are not looking so good right now uh, mckellar minus four bogley minus five but no minus four just terrible draws the only silver lining is coop the one and only positive at least is he is a, a plus five. He's got a 79 mountain and 82 hills today. Plenty of stamina resistance to, to go for miles. So McKellar, chances of hanging on to 20th are next to nothing with this draw. Just terrible draw. I mean, he's got a 69 mountain today and resistance in the 60s, stamina of 61. He won't last. He is going to be dropped. So the, the hopes of a top 15 are now going to actually shift away from McKellar. We will try to get him to hang on as long as possible. However, it's shifting to Coop. Coop twice the distance off the race lead compared to McKellar's 20th place in 33rd at 244 with a 121. I mean, like literally just a second off being exactly double the gap between him and the the lead jersey but coop honestly has a much better chance at this stage the peloton actually sat up unfortunately on this climb allowing the breakaway to extend their gap by a minute and allowing the peloton to come back together turning this into a puncher stage instead of a mountain stage and it was shaping up based on the difficulty of the, the trio of climbs, it was shaping up to look like it would be down to the mountains today, but not enough tempo here by the lead teams to put others under stress. I mean, our weakest domestiques who have these huge negatives, they made it over the top just fine. I mean, it wasn't even very close. In fact, that gap opened up even further now at four minutes. And in the bunch anyway, so Bogley, let's go get that water. Final time for the day. Another crash, Prince Steiner this time. We've seen uh, so many of those. And now Ponomar going down. This could be problematic for Bogley. No, no, he's already out the back, Ponomar. Good thing he was not one of our key guys for the day. He is back on the bike. Has and with so many crashes, skill most as well. Roglic, has fallen. Roglic falls. Ooh, that's going to shake things up. <clears throat> I don't remember what his position is, but... Sixth at 14 seconds down and somehow he's just at the tail end of the group by the time he gets up position very important but last time i did that from the very front end of the group i found myself completely completely what three minutes off the back That's one of those last races we participated in. Bogley still trying to bring water forward and really not making much of an effort here. And the group re-split again, so he is well behind. And this group actually now a minute 42 off. So Coop in a small group of just 55. And there's a bunch of jerseys here in this one. So there could be some contenders. We know there's obviously one. And Jumbo Visma now trying to pull things back together for obvious reasons. Sixth place rider in this group. Almeida in this group. 
Plenty of contenders, though Almeida is not well placed in the overall. Panamar, too far back. His day is done. So that leaves us with six. And with that healthy gap, we're going to now turn our attention to Coop unless the other guys actually make it back to us. Coop, let's go ahead and go up to an 81 so we can stay put. In fact, the 81's not doing it. Here's where this race is beginning. Big acceleration coming. So Culverwell, let's gel now. That chase group's probably going to be pushing pretty hard, so let's go ahead and get those domestiques to gel now as well. Just in case. I mean, they have cut it back down to a minute 15. <clears throat> Excuse me. That front four, we've cut their gap in half, or just about in half now anyway uh, as well. We're starting to lose a few riders off the back. And the front end of this group making contact. Uh, here's what we're going to do with these four. Let's go ahead and go 99. We'll take McKellar and Pithy and Bono and Bogli. And Bogli. Just bring it on forward. Can we do a 92? What sort of tempo is that going to look like here to our back man who was distanced and is that leader and trying to preserve that position? Culverwell already, already done. We'll try to ride it in 90 and see what that does. You can see McKellar actually struggling to keep up. Overwell out the back. 43 left here, and Coop drifted backwards. He's now solo, but he's through that first climb. He'll restore his position here shortly. Those front four, not the easiest catch. I still think they will be caught, though. All right, Coop very quickly takes just a couple pedal strokes get a little more pace into that descent and that brings him right on back forward 41 left here let's hope there's some front end guys missing and that his progression up the field is beginning now unfortunately these guys those guys did not get water and coop is going to have to be practically solo before we can afford for him to do something okay culverwell you are back in this mix go ahead and get up to uh, where bobley is in the line. Oh my! I can see her right around the tarmac. And Bogley, let's they push a little harder as we go to begin the, the next climb. Coop, back in that front position, 48, chasing four, under three minutes. And we're gonna need more effort from you here. You got the punch today anyway. I hate using pause for the sake of the you know the cinematic of, of doing this. Some of you certainly don't mind, but others certainly do. We're down to 40, by the way. Uh, but I am going to have to use the pause because of things like this. Bogley running out of energy completely. Culverwell getting dropped again. And, but no. Actually, not even up with, uh, with Bogley. Keller is actually being distanced. It's pithy. He's leading along. And there's Coop. One point seven k to go. Let's see what happens if we can push forward. Because here comes an attack, and we want to be in a small group that's getting off the front or seeing this thing separate. Down to thirty-four. If we put a little pressure, oh, we get blocked off by Fabio Fellini. If Fellini doesn't block us off there, you'd see this peloton shrink. A lot more than it just did. Only 15 kilometers left. 10 second gap. Okay, now we need to back off and recover and get water while we're here. All alone, 16K. Those guys are going to make contact. So backing off is probably the right thing to do here. Though we did open the gap a little bit. And that front group, if we can catch those three, we are getting some recovery. This is the important part is we've still got to get some recovery in. A front two. Can they bridge the gap? Oh, beautiful. Pogacar and Vlasov. <laughs> and they're being chased hard by the group. So let's just sit on and follow the group. 
Okay, so 31. Approaching the bottom. Base, 10k to go. Let's check in on these guys, but no. Group of seven. Left behind quite a few guys. It's definitely not the group we had. But no is done. McKellar has made contact. Let's uh, get you to the back of the group. And let's continue on trying to bridge that gap. See what position they end up with. But they are well behind. And definitely standing to lose time. Really, Schmid now sits up. Follow Godou, please. Two riders left off the front, and we're seeing the attacks now. Can we follow the leader? You know he'll respond. And the group starts to thin out. No. No, it does not. Seven riders were momentarily distanced. And are again. Now it's 19. Follow Gregoire for a second, who is pushing on as Pagatcher seems to be struggling at the moment. Now just one rider left off the front. 2.7k. Let's gel. Pevy still pushing on, and McKellar. Follow that behind. Making contact with this group. Pushing your way up through the field. 1.9k. Coop in a good position. Front group now. And final kilometer. Coop sprinting for the stage. So he is in this final grouping. He's got the tiniest chance at a... Uh, there's the line. He's got a tiny chance at a podium, but I think he's going to just miss it here on the right-hand side. Shockman, Roglic, go to fifth. Fifth on the stage. Time gap. Time gap. Oh, please, oh, please. Give me that little time gap and see these small groups coming in. Okay, Pivy leading out McKellar now and pushing hard. He's going to sprint. And now McKellar. McKellar going solo. Pushing on, pushing on, pushing on. And into the final kilometer. Can we bridge the gap and join this group? It looks like we can. Can he hang on to get the same time as them at least? And not lose additional time to others as that is, well, that's 58. Not a great finish. Coop, great job today. But what sort of time gaps are going to be given? Are they big enough? I mean, that was five minutes to McKellar, I want to say. That's going to definitely shift things and Coop's going to move up a lot. Okay, time gaps have been given. Sixth place, actually, Champesson gets eight seconds, and then we get close to 10 over the chase group. That goes to 15th place, and then it's 35 to the next group, which gets, that's a lot of riders. There was not 32, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, that's still another gap. Then it starts to drop off quite a bit, but we're looking at like 32 riders that are fairly close, meaning we're only going to gain 20 seconds. 25 seconds on a lot of the riders. And then it really falls off. And then these are the guys that we're going to move ahead because we were, you know, two minutes down overall. And outside of a leader or two, these guys are going to drop behind Coop. These guys ahead, most of them are going to stay ahead of him if they were already placed. So my guess is he's moving up to probably somewhere around McKellar was, as in 20th place. Let's see if that's the case. He's not in the top 16, so, so far, so good on my guess. Um, and not in the good sort of way, but in the accurate sort of way. So Godou leads ahead of Pogacar and Roglic and Sivakov, all within four seconds with one stage left in this race. Vlasov, Venepol, Ayuso, and we're looking at a minute and a half to Jai Hindley in 16th. Coop is 23rd at 237. Pretty accurate in the prediction. And a big old gap behind us. <laughs> Tons of riders. You know, actually, there's a decent gap ahead of us as well. We're, we're kind of falling into the no man's land of, say, 21 contenders left at within two minutes. 
or 20 literally within two minutes uh realistically i think things start to fall off after about bar day just over a minute and a half behind and then you, you know it's starting to stretch from there a bit more and then the time gaps big get big mckeller still up in 30th but negative race day condition that was a really really poor draw for the team today i mean we had a minus 12 something along those lines maybe it was no it was a little less because of coops plus plus five might have been a minus 10 or 11 maybe a minus nine I, i've already forgotten the exact details i i had it at the start of the stage but either way you know the expected what are we plus seven that's a terrible draw absolutely horrendous draw that's a minus three for the team did we not have that earlier or was that or am i thinking of my pro cyclist series whatever the case may be it was not not good not good at all made the best of a bad situation we are still in the top 25 but we're totally out of contention at this point even if stage six turns out the same is coop gonna have a plus five probably not final stage and coop goes down and we were already kind of at the tail end of the peloton uh, and you, you can see there's a lot of riders off, off the back here we are going to have to drop some guys back presumably to to bring this back together the breakaway very very quickly had a three minute advantage in the first climb and my guys were a haul at the back of the peloton so we brought them forward over the course of that but the breakaway was already established then peloton put the foot down hard and started chasing immediately and it blew up the peloton over these three climbs my guys drifted 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 but nobody went out the back where the peloton was blowing up but then on this descent coop crashes so now we're missing and he's got a minus one race state condition of course so we're going to bring back uh i think pithy and but no uh well, let's go ahead and wait for this rider uh, we'll start with them and keep the other four up front. McKellar at least does have a plus two to try to maintain his position, but we obviously need to now waste a bunch of energy to try to bring back Coop. It does look like it's settled, finally. So they were racing pretty dang hard. If they have settled a little bit, we've definitely got the opportunity to come back. We've got some ground to cover. Uh, we are definitely a few minutes behind at this point as Bono and Pithy look to uh, pace Coop back to the front and nobody in the group seems to be uh, too concerned. There they are. Okay, group is putting some effort in to bring themselves back forward. I mean, these guys are set to 81 and in fact, they're going straight to the back end of the group with that sort of effort. And the group's not coming back at this point. I mean, it's too... 218 down and holding so why don't we do this instead pithy go ahead and protect coop so he's not wasting energy but no contribute to the chase we've got plenty of chase but at the moment not closing the gap but we're riding hard but it's because the peloton's riding hard too eight breakaway riders but got out very very early got three minutes very early and are now being chased quite hard and still still almost two minutes and more riders getting dropped off the peloton right now ones and twos over the course of this climb uh, checking in on the front group it's showing them in the middle of the peloton by the way for the rare person who doesn't know this is your position in the peloton so it's showing the three three quadrants of the group 23k to go till the next and you know we're we're looking at this group almost breaking apart here as riders are getting dropped we are pushing so hard and not making up any ground we are further behind than we were even though at an 86 bono is literally just now for the first time on the front of the group as the gap is growing meaning there's not as much chase as there was he's been set in the 80s this entire time and has never once gone to the front meaning we were chasing really hard 
and now the group the gap's at three and a half minutes so the peloton's pushing a lot harder than this insane tempo today which means are we suddenly back in for mckellar i think this result is looking more likely a, a situation where gc is just not happening for us at all we're not good enough to win individual stages with a field that is so strong we've had a couple of results right did we get a podium on one stage I'm trying to remember uh, also the expected was not crazy high it uh, as Bono actually just dropped the whole group pushing it at 86 petty let's not see these guys suddenly fall out of the back please thank you Colwell and Bogley are not gonna last much longer Hey, Pithy, go ahead and catch up to uh, Bano, please. Bano Jill, you don't have much left in the tank. And if we're going to cover the gap, we need to cover the gap soon. Okay, there's some space on the road. Pithy. Okay, and Coop. All right, Bano comes forward. Let's push that 85. See what we can do. And over the top of this climb. Cat one, biggest climb of the day. Still alive in the group. Yo-yoing position a lot right now, but I think we are okay. Coverwell is done, but he's still around. 27k to go. It would be really nice to get some water, but we are in a bit of a mess. Okay, but no, done. Uh, we caught some riders in front of us. No, try to follow. See if you can recover a little bit. Maybe you could get water for this group. These guys just don't have the strength to, to go get water. 56 chasing two, but again, not looking good for our situation as Coop is very much off the back end. And uh, yeah, I don't see how we can hope for much on this stage. We're in this race. Goldwell and Bogley both get dropped. They have a three minute advantage. Why don't you wait and recover and join those guys? And go give them some support. Ponemar, go ahead and protect McKellar. McKellar. Yeah, a little bit more effort so you don't get dropped as you will fall into the tail end of the group. Really difficult to try to manage more than one group at the same time without using that pause. Peloton falling apart pretty quick as riders drop off. Down to 37, front two are going to be caught here fairly soon. And we've caught these guys. Okay, so... But no has recovered just a little bit, but not enough. We've got another descent coming. So let's follow now. Take over the chase to set up Coop for the final climb to make up whatever ground he can make up. Don't count on the group for leading things out as we're about to go over the top. We'll get a little bit of recovery on the descent and set up for the climb but no further down the line is going to help his situation as we go past a rider there and we'll take a quick look through the field as it is split up all over the place i doubt we're going to see any top place guys i mean these these guys are pretty far down the field aren't they Guar hindley has been dropped fisher black Bill Bow getting dropped, 38 now. No break, base of the climb. We'll have to focus on the front. Bottom our gel, up the effort. And we're seeing Godou, Sivaka, Vingegaard going clear. And we're gonna see a, a follow. So we need to respond to this by not wasting McKellar's energy, but waste Palmar's. Try about an 86 here. 87. Bardet, Pagatcher, Lopez chasing pretty hard. And again, this is going to split this group up. 4K to the top. End of the finish of this race. 
McKellar's position looks like it will improve today, but I just don't know if it's going to improve inside a top 25 under these circumstances. And meanwhile, it's obvious that uh, we are going backwards when it comes to here. Oh, there's, there's, there's at least a few really quality guys in this group. Pithy, you're out. Coop, let's gel up as it's 4K. And we'll get back up here as McKellar is not looking so hot. We need to back off a little bit, 2.8K to go. But I think we're going to need to back off a little bit more, aren't we? Yes, we are, McKellar. Monomar, back to protect. 22 riders. McKellar's just not strong enough. He is, he's not Coop. He just had that excellent race day condition on those previous days, and I knew that that was a big problem. Coop would have gone with that. And this is over the top, too. I mean, we are right there, but... We got your Roglic. Take the win. Your sprint, McKellar. Armour's just going to help pull you up there as fast as he can. Minute 50 down for them. Coop, go on your own, buddy. Make your way up. We'll let the other guys be. I know they're they're not in their neutral standing, but Coop's losing a ton of time here. We can push about an 88 with 1K to go. 700 meters. Now attacking. Out of energy. 81st. <sighs> we had some unlucky things happen, but let let's take some some honest reflection for a second. We had two riders with a minor objective. We had no fitness peaks. When I have those fitness peaks, even when we are against stellar fields, you know we we pull pretty strong results. But when we have virtually nothing against a strong field. You can see how ugly it gets. I mean, we we pulled some top fives on individual stages. We had good positions in in the GC that we couldn't maintain because of the varying race day condition. McKellar was great for a few days, and we were desperately trying to hang on with others, knowing that it was likely he wouldn't have a great condition every day, and he didn't. He had a really bad condition on one day and lost a ton of time what was it four minutes on that stage did well otherwise coop who was hanging in there day by day without having the great race day condition he then comes along gets one really good day moves way up the order but then he bound then he comes back and has bad luck today didn't have very good race day condition and more importantly crashed at a very bad time which cost him a ton of time you need you need luck at least on this difficulty level you need luck to be in position but more importantly you need to perfectly balance race day condition to be competitive at least you know now where we're still just a mid-level continental pro team with a ways to go yet to be competitive against world tour guys this was a great test it was nice to have this world tour race against some of the best and to see where we stood and we snuck in some results but couldn't get the consistency to actually compete in the overall which is something i'd very much like this team to be in position to start doing next season so this was a good test but a test that we ultimately failed at least on the surface but there was good signs with the team you know all on the objective and fitness peak or majority of them the consistency would have been there the bad luck the coop crash oh that would have been that would have been bad you know if he was in the top 10 if he was the guy in the top 10 and had the crash at that point it would have been the whole team not just a couple guys going back for him but we first went back with two and then later two more after they got dropped and they recovered they helped a bit when they dropped back but oh my 
you know, that was, <laughs> that was uh, shaky at best. Short episode today, but next up is Perry roubaix and that's one of those races that first cobbled sector to the last, well, to the velodrome in Roubaix is a necessity. Big time race, even if we don't place particularly well in that one, as we are not yet built for that either. But again, these early tests are, are great to see where, where we stand, and we've pulled off one top 10 in the World Tour so far, and we've come really close to another. And we got some minor results in this race as well. Just couldn't put it all together yet. Let's see if we can pull off a miracle for Perru Bay. Race day condition is going to be really important for that one if we are going to pull off that miracle and get into a decent result. I think getting a top 25 is going to be rather challenging. That does it for this one, though. I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.